Freddy? Uh-huh. Proverbs 18.10. How about hello, welcome to Straw Valley Farm. I'm Christy. I'm ready. You're in the chapel, huh? <laughs> okay. In the chapel, go for it. Proverbs 18.10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Are we running to God lately? I don't know. That's just one that popped up. Okay. We should be. All right. In the barn stalls, what do we got going on? Um. Let's see. We're free ranging the chickens now. Yep. Just during the day, though, and the geese. The one mama chicken, did, she doesn't take her babies back in there. I had to hunt for her last night. She freaked me out. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you got me a present. Mm -hmm. Do you remember his name? Mr. Hobbs, it's like, Hobbs. He just, you call him Hobbs, Mr. Hobbs, but, okay, so, where'd Mr. Hobbs come from, what went on, and how did we get, come on, in the barn stalls, oh. come on. This is my segment, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. Mr. Hobbs came from an uh, old farmer who uh, had some cows, and I went and caught a cow for him. And then he had one die, and he was trying to take care of his baby, so I asked him, what was he going to do with it? He was, I don't know, probably selling. So I bought it. Mm -hmm. And brought him home to me. Bye. And yesterday was the first day that we had him. Yep. He'd gone all day without milk. Yep. And the mom had passed, well, passed out in the pasture. He wasn't even sure whether it was, what time Thursday it had passed, correct? Correct. So and to, yesterday was Friday. So it had been well over 24 hours since the little guy had any milk. And RJ, you were working, rodeoing, had to take care of some other things, load for him. You started out at Justin's, right? Or did you go to Justin's at it? Will you tell people what you did? I was busy. There you I go. I was running around chewing my head to off. So when I got home from work, I had gone, I was going to stop at the gym, but then he got the calf, so I didn't. I went to the gym later. But um, I came home, warmed up goat's milk, and I went and caught him. And the only problem doing it by yourself, because he's not hard to catch once you get him cornered, correct? Correct. But he kept missing the catch pen. And when I caught him, I caught him over in the very far corner. Well, I was by myself, and the bottle was all the way over at the catch pen. So... <laughs> Me being me and not wanting to let go of him, I pick him up and have his two front legs in my hands like this, like his low, what do you call it? It would be like your forearm. And I have him just folded up underneath him and we walk. Do, do, do. <laughs> and as long as I kept him moving, he didn't try to pull away from me. So I walked him over the bottle, got the bottle popped in. And at first he took a couple of sips, you know, just kind of sat there and then he just clamp down on the nipple and so you kind of have to milk it for him and I rubbed his throat and all that and then by about the second pint I just had a half bottle which is two pints and then uh, I uh, by the second pint he had latched on and really took it so he finished his bottle then this morning uh, we got up and RJ helped, helped me catch him because I had after wrestling that calf and chasing it around the pen um, and it wasn't, I didn't catch it on the first try. The pin is too big. If I have a small pin, I know we can catch it on the first try, correct? Mm -hmm. We got him in a big pin, and he runs. He's never seen a human before yesterday. So, um, after I went to work out, my thighs were cramping up last night, and I could not, I mean, I couldn't even walk. So, RJ helped me this morning catch him. And once you get your hands on him and get the bottle in his mouth, he's really good, isn't he? The minute you turn loose of him, though, and take the bottle and turn loose, he's like back to being a wild thing, ain't he? Mm -hmm. So, he's real calm to handle once you get your hands on him. But before and after, yesterday he tried to clean my clock. He was like all standing proud. He's a bull calf. And boy, he thought he could take me. He'd run at me and back off. And it was kind of funny. So, we got that going on, right? But what was the good thing this morning, after we got him going and stuff, we put feed down, and what did he do? Went to eat feed. Yeah, he went to nestle in it. He probably isn't getting enough, but he weighs about what? 
130 pounds. So maybe a little less. I don't know. Because those ones weigh, what, 200? And they're twice his size, so maybe a little less. I don't know. But he's pretty easy handling once you get him caught. You just got to get him cornered. So, yep. But Hobbs will make it. He'll be fine. He's had colostrum. He's with his mom up until um, the last couple of days, so he's doing good. <clears throat> What's Miss Emma's problem? Why is she out in pasture? She got mean. If you give her her own stall for too long, she gets real protective of it and just wants to be right there. And uh, she doesn't want any. Yeah, she doesn't want anybody in her pen, not even other cattle. So, well, Bidet, she lets Bidet in there all the time, doesn't she? Bidet's a lot bigger than her, too. <laughs> Bidet just does what Bidet, Bidet wants. Bidet but... <laughs> but the little Scottish Highlander has those horns, and so with the baby calves, we can't really have her being like that. Um, what else? Oh, you have two calves. Yep. Okay, tell us about them. Uh, they were picked up. Picked up in the cell barn, so. And... What about the little brown one? What does he do? Where did I find him last night? Oh, he keeps jumping through a gate. <laughs> yeah. He's obviously he's not, not little, been weaned. Or he's not little. They weigh like 240, 230. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I really don't see how he's getting through that gate. It, there's not a hole big enough for him, is there? It's right over the latch. I see him do it. That's one reason I know he does it. He just runs up there and just jumps into it. Just poof. Like a little deer. Well, big, big deer, but... <laughs> a big deer. Okay, anything else going on in the barn stalls? How's um, the one that you're... The colt that you're raising her feet on? Good. Any? Homer. So, Homer. Homer, though. Yeah, I get them confused. So... But... Uh, she's getting tamed down. Yep. The one with cuts is already back out on the pasture and doing great. You can't even hardly see her cuts. Right? Nope. So, yeah, that's going good. What else? Been riding Star and Kavayu. Yeah. Right? How's Kavayu doing? Pretty good. How's Star? She's doing good. Been throwing with some kills on there in a little pen. Good deal. She taking it okay? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. She got any stop to her? Oh, a little bit. She'll get it. Yep. She'll get it. All right. Anything else in the barn stalls? Mm, nope. My signature's over. I'm going to take it out. <laughs> Mending fences. Have we had to fix anything? No, I haven't fixed anything. Haven't fixed anything, but my little... Uh, oh, the free-range chickens. Did we talk about them? Yeah, we talked about them. Um, my, one of my little sides to it came down. We don't know. I think the sheep got so it. Oh, we should have fixed something, but we We should have fixed to. something, but we opted not to. We just opted to... You know, they've been out in that little stall for two weeks now. So... The geese don't like the ducks, but we got the ducks up in the barn now, right? Mm. All right, anything else mending fences? Not really. We just I haven't even rebuilt that stall. I haven't done anything. Mm. There's a lot of stuff I need to get done. I just haven't gotten it done. So, all right, in the yarn farm, we had the kids out. We talked about that last week, didn't we? Mm, yeah, no, we haven't podcast. Oh, time. I did. Oh, I did. <laughs> okay, well, tell me your story about the little boy. What makes you a cowboy? I've been a world champion for hundreds of thousands no, of years. No, a thousand years. A thousand, uh, well, hundreds or thousands is what I said. No, he said you were a world champion for a thousand years. RJ's new biggest fan, huh? I didn't even know I was a thousand years old. <laughs> It was good. The little boy was happy. Mm. All right. Anything else going on in the yarn farm? Uh, we've got some dates that we're closing coming up, correct? Yep. We closed a week. Well, and it's two weekends because it's June 29th yep. to July uh, 7th. So that down folks June 29th it's on the website and I will be marking I think we're in a kind of post so yep 
Let me go back to my reading. No, he got his Rodeo News magazine. Are you in it? Yeah, I'm somewhere in here, girl. <laughs> um, alright. What else were we on? In the yarn fire. In the fields. How's your strawberry plants doing? I don't know how it looks out. Yeah, they're just kind of there. Everything is either drowning out because every night it's raining. So, I mean, it's still drowning out stuff and it's not flooding as bad as it was, is it? Nope. It kind of flash floods for just while it's raining and then it clears and rolls off as it goes. So, boy, today, this week has been a boring week because you've just been working and I've been working and just trying to get things ready for vacation, correct? I don't even have our little intern today. Because I have an eye appointment, right? Um, really not a whole lot going on, is there? That wild duck's back out with the men duck. Don't know what her deal is. Uh, that other mama duck's raising all those others, so isn't he? Didn't she? Yep. Okay. Anything else? In the farmhouse. Honestly... We've just been working. And yep. most of it away from here. I mean, we still doctor stuff, and we've got, we're waiting on two more lambs to have their banded parts fall off. And have you called her and talked to her about? No, I haven't. They need them up and conditioned. Need, they're running out of time. So, um, anyway. But, no, we've got things leaving and going to new homes and just kind of our regular everyday stuff, correct? <laughs> He's just reading. What are you reading? It's so... Glenn Jackson. Woo! Big famous, too. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. RJ always looks to see if they put a picture of him in there, huh? Yep, always do. Because that's going to be... So you get some of the coolest pictures. Yeah. Hey, I'm in this picture. I'm sitting right there. Look at that. <laughs> Show the camera. Oh, okay. I'm sitting right there. He's sitting, sitting there. In He's the like... background. I'm sitting in the background. So cool. Oh, wait. I went the wrong way. I'm right there in the bulk. Right there. It's my finger on my head. That's so me. if you get the Pro Rodeo News, no, right? It's Rodeo News. Rodeo News. Rodeo News. Magazine. I'm in the background. Of He's the in picture. the background. Background of the picture. Woohoo! And he hadn't even finished going through all of it yet, so. But, anyway. All right, anything else going on? It's going to be a short one today because you have to go get some horses. I got an eye appointment. Uh, it rained again, so pretty much we're soggy wet. But you're leaving to go to a rodeo tonight. You won't be back till tomorrow evening. Correct. Right. All right. I'm kind of laughing because he actually rides your horse, doesn't he? But that's not your horse, is it? No, it's his. I ride that one some, too. Yep. But Glenn rides your horse too, doesn't he? Yep. You mounted him at the ACRA on your horse, didn't you? No. Last year? Year before last? That was Shay. Oh, that was Shay. Okay. But anyway. All right. Anything else going on? Short, sweet, guys. I will catch you later. I do have um, a video of the calf that we will post. So. Did you get the video of me walking like a dog? He cut me off. <laughs> I didn't he mean, cut me off. It started to go <laughs> blank, and I did it, and it she cut, cut it me off. off. So, so um, I'm done. I'm gonna be quiet for the rest of the podcast. We're getting ready, and it's just I didn't want to leave it cut like that. Um, the little calf, we have some video of it taking a bottle really well. RJ's reading this magazine. I'm not and, talking anymore. <laughs> you just had to talk to say that. <laughs> No, he's not going to talk anymore. Starting when? Starting when? <laughs> Write it in the record book, folks. He is not talking for the first time in God knows how long he's not talking. <sighs> All right, so we're going to get off of here. Can you say goodbye, please? <laughs> Bye, folks. You have a good one.